Hello and welcome to another Aki's video where we are having a look at two of the races I've done so far on this week's race C at Willow Springs. I am in the Audi TT as you are supposed to be in this race and I am starting on pole in this one. This is 8 o'clock in the morning so there are not that many people on but I have also managed to put together a somewhat decent qualifying time despite a lot of my efforts in time trial went pretty much like this. I still managed to put together a decent time. Uh, so this race is mainly between me and the Greek driver behind me. And uh, being the one in front, I have to sort of set the pace. I also have to have an eye on the fuel level, but uh, still I have to sort of set the standard for how fast we are going around the track to begin with and um, yeah the Greek driver he's dropping a bit behind by now but as you could see coming through some of the first corners he is eager to go a bit faster than me I think he is actually a bit faster than me in race uh, race conditions to be fair he was having a bit of uh, a battle with the German driver behind me so now the German driver is behind me and I think we are about to jump ahead just a little bit. We are on lap 3. Uh, the Greek driver is uh, in P2 now and I make a bit of a mess coming round Rabbit's ear. I'm going too tight around the corner so I'm really slow and you can see he's right behind me. I just have to sort of take the line. Uh, could look I, like I was uh, blocking him just a little bit, but it, if he tried to pass there, it would have been a nightmare. On the other hand, I'm not covering the inside at all. I'm just letting, letting him have it. Um, he can be the one setting the pace for now. Uh, then I can just sit behind and uh, save some lovely fuel. Um, it's not important for me to be leading this race at all. So we are jumping ahead a little bit. Uh, I'm doing a better job than the Greek driver with this corner, but I still almost go off the track, but get a run on him. So this is getting close and he is taking the defensive line. No problem with that. I'm just taking the racing line just to show him that I have no intention to overtake him now, it wouldn't really make any point. He is definitely fast enough for me, so fast that I'm almost starting to lose the slipstream. So he's the right car to have in front. If I was the car in front, I would be too much under pressure, would start making too many mistakes. I am fine and comfortable just staying here. And we are gaining a little bit on him now. Um, I think, although he's a really fast driver, this might have been his first race this morning as well, as well as this was my first race. So sometimes he's running away and then I catch back up. So dare I, dare I say it, maybe I'm just a tiny bit more consistent than him at the moment. I don't know. But anyway, we are jumping ahead quite a bit now. All the way to lap 11, the end of lap 11. But now I'm catching him back up again. He also has to fuel save a little bit. Maybe he has had an eye on his fuel, so he's going a bit slower now. Uh, either way, I am right behind him now. And uh, let's see if we can still apply some pressure on him. He's going a bit wide through this long corner. I know you have to be uh, slightly wide at the middle of the corner so you get a good run out. But yeah. Anyway, and now I'm getting really close. He's defending this corner again. Um, I'm just getting in behind. I'm still not really interested. But if I can make him a little bit nervous, that would be just fine. I think we are about to go into the pits. I think we are both 
making a bit of a mess of the corner, so we are taking the alternative line into the pits. And uh, let's just get on those hard tires and complete the race. Just have to do this final lap. And uh, we still got a healthy gap behind us. No issues whatsoever. Now, have to be careful. We are coming off the mediums. We are on the hard tires and they are cold. Already feel it coming around this corner. But on the other hand, I think I am fairly okay with the fuel so I can go for it. And this is where it gets a bit interesting. I am applying the pressure on my Greek friend ahead. He has to be careful on those hard tires, especially this tricky corner. But unfortunately for him, he dips a tire on the sand and leaves the track in spectacular fashion. So I am taking the win in this first one and uh, we quickly move ahead to the last race in this video. This was not the race immediately after, but the race after that. So this is nine o'clock, we've got some more people coming on, we've got some faster guys, some A plus drivers ahead of me and uh, still got uh, the Greek driver from the previous race behind me. And uh, I know already that P1 is on the medium tires, but P2 is starting on the hard tires. So his strategy is to pit after lap one. So he is a bit slow coming through some of these corners. I was already aware that he was doing this strategy, but I didn't feel like that was a strategy for me. So I just have to be a bit patient for the first lap and uh, then he will go into the pits. I wouldn't be able to make a move on him anyway. I think he is plenty fast for me, even on the hard tire. So as expected, he's going into the pits and we've got the German driver. He's quite a bit ahead of us at the moment. And I've got the Greek driver behind me. Ooh, I made a terrible mistake. I'm running off the track. So that was an easy position for the Greek driver and I am in P3 and have to catch up to the guys ahead. Unfortunately for me, on lap five, I sort of do exactly the same mistake, not as severe as the first time, but now I've got death behind me. A familiar face from a lot of my race A videos, and I know I, he's a driver I can trust, but I also spotted him in the previous race, the one not in this video that he is doing a different strategy. He's starting further back and he's just pushing all he can. And then he has to pit for both fuel and tires. So if he gets close to me at some point, then I'll just let him go because we are doing two different things. So no point in keeping him kept up. Now you saw the Greek driver ahead. He made a mistake, almost went into the pits by accident, but he got back on the track. So we are gaining on him quickly and finishing lap six. We are getting really close and Dab is getting really close behind me. I'm just leaving the door wide open, staying in the slipstream. If he wants it, he can have it. I break early so he can get past without any of us losing too much speed. Definitely the best way to do it. No fighting whatsoever. I'm not interested in fighting in this race, in this combo at all. It's not about fighting, it's all about picking your strategy and just stick with it the best you can. My hope is that maybe the Greek driver will defend his position a bit and keep up death. I could be lucky that that would be the case. But anyway, it seemed like they were both just ending up getting a bit away from me. So we are skipping ahead in the race. Really far ahead in the race. We are finishing lap 12. As expected, Dab is going into the pits for tires and refuel. So he has to do three laps on the hard tires. I am getting close to P2. Just have to keep it cool coming around. Rabbit's ear down the hill 
get two tires on the dust and uh, make sure the car doesn't run wide through the last part of that corner and it seems like uh, P2 is having to fuel safe now he's suddenly going a lot slower so I am gaining on him quickly um, that's the thing you just have to trust what you're doing yourself of course trying to avoid doing mistakes but when it comes to which pace you're going at just stick with what feels right for you and let, and then see what that brings. We've got the Italian driver from the start of the race who pitted on lap one. He is back and uh, he might get around the Greek driver. I am not sure. Uh, and once again, we are on the hard tires now. So we don't have the same grip as the Italian. And I think he gets a move done. Yeah, the Greek driver, he's doing the best he can to keep the position, but in the end, the Italian makes a, quite a nice move around the outside. And we just have to finish the final sector of this race. Coming up the hill, and uh, now it's just flat out towards the final corner. I'm not sure how the fuel is looking for the two other guys, but I'm not having trouble keeping up. I think I am okay, but now, we are about to witness a quite spectacular ending of this race and I have to speed up my commentary to just keep up. I see a gap opening on the inside but the Greek driver is moving because the Italian driver runs out of fuel and I have to swerve to the right and... I somehow managed to finish the race in P3. Let's have a look at that again. And sure enough, the Italian driver is running out of fuel and we just have to avoid him in spectacular fashion. And... Uh, yeah, that was a fun one. And that's all from me for now. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.